Former running mate to the acclaimed winner of the 1993 presidential election, M.K. Abiola, Babagana Kingebe, has been recognized as an ex-vice president. Kingebe was introduced as former vice president when he was requested to join a group photograph at the Eagle Square on Monday during the celebration of this year's Democracy Day. He was requested to join President Muhammad Buhari, ex-president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, and President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan. Others called for the photograph include the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gbadabiamila, the Chief Justice of the Federation, Ibrahim Tanko, and the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Abdullahi Adamu. The event is the last democracy parade President Buhari will preside over before his exit in 2023. Recall that the 1993 June 12 presidential election was annulled by the then military head of state, Ibrahim Badamosi Bambagida. Last year, Buhari reviewed Nigeria's Democracy Day from May 29th to June 12th in honor of Abiola. While Buhari's administration honored Abiola, nothing was publicly declared about Kingebe until today. Meanwhile, the running mate to late MK Abiola, Kingebe, has revealed why he served in the Sani Abacha government. In a chat with reporters in Meduguri on Sunday, Kingebe said his decision to serve in Abacha's government was due to his love for national interest and not personal gain. He stated that he jettisoned his own personal interest to serve in the regime of the late detector, adding that his decision was in line with the teaching of the Islamic faith. He said, when we think of the collective good, there are times when we have to sacrifice personal interests and join hands in rebuilding society and bringing peace and harmony to our people. I have addressed this issue of why did I join Abacha's government and so on. I know we won the election on June 12, 1993. I know that injustice was done when those elections were annulled, but there is always one guiding principle in my public life which is that the national interest supersedes any other consideration and all my actions have been informed by the consciousness of what is best in the national interest. Kingebe commended Governor Babagana Umar Zulom of Bornu State for the June 12th celebration in the state to mark the new democracy day. He said the celebration signifies love and solidarity towards him as a son of the soil and a key player in the event of that year. He said, I don't think the celebration on the actual 12th of June 1993 was any greater than the celebration of the first Democracy Day on June 12th. And for that, I have to thank gov the governor who gave the leadership, thank the people of Bornu, not only for celebrating June 12th as Democracy Day per se, but I know that they had in mind one of their own son, their own son was a critical player. I appreciate that confidence and love. In a related development, Kingebe has endorsed the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu as Nigeria's next president. Kingebe said Tinubu would be Nigeria's next president due to his sacrifices. The former secretary to the government of the federation, SGF, spoke during a meeting with Tinubu over the weekend. You are the next, he said. You will move from Jagaban of Bugu to Jagaban of Nigeria, from Asiwaju of Lagos to Asiwaju of Nigeria. For all of your sacrifices, for all of your efforts, God will reward you this time, he said. Last week, Wednesday, Tinubu emerged as the APC presidential candidate after pulling the highest number of votes at the party's primary election in Abuja. The APC national leader pulled 1,271 votes to defeat other presidential aspirants of the party. June 12th celebration, um, we know it was moved from May 29th. President Muhammad Buhari moved it in honor of um, MKO Abiola. It's now June 12th. June 12th fell on a Sunday and the celebration was obviously moved to today, the 13th. However, we still know that it's June 12th celebration. It's June 12th we're celebrating. During the celebration, Buhari did a remarkable thing um, by addressing or by um, crowning Kingebe as a former vice president when it was time for photographs 
all former vice presidents were present, even former president as well. Um, good luck, Ibele Jonathan was president. He called Kingebe and referred to him as a former vice president. And you know, all this why um, NK Wabiola has been talked about. No one has mentioned his name, but he was the running mate in that election that was annulled by uh, Ibrahim Babagida. He was the running mate. And you know, the figure in front is just the candidate, the main candidate that is always seen, that is always talked about if anything happens. He's always been about um, MK Abiola. But interestingly, Buhari made that move. I don't know what led him to make that move. But I think the move pleased a lot of persons that at least um, he's not, uh, nothing has been said about him. Because obviously during that election, I believe that he would have contributed a lot and uh, put in a lot of um, effort or done one thing or the other. But uh, nothing has been said in that regard to him being the running mate. Anyways, um, also in the spirit of um, celebrating the June 12th, the June 12th uh, Democracy Day, Babagana Kingebe, he was in an interview and he gave some insight to why he served in Abacha's regime, the detector. You know, anyone associated with Abacha, if you hear that this person was in Abacha's regime, you begin to look at that person, think twice and begin to um, look closely. But he stated that the only reason he worked with Abacha was because he was someone who had national interest above personal interest. That he was looking for a way to serve the people better. That was why he served in Abacha's government. In a related development, um, he met with Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu just emerged the flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress, APC. And is going to be competing with um, other flag bearers from other parties, the likes of Amatikwa, Bubaka, Kankwaso of the NNPP, um, Labour Party, P2B. There are other political parties, but um, they are all going to be slugging it out come February 2023. Kingebe just uh, um, dropped one uh, interesting one that um, is Tinubu's turn to become president. But Tinubu has been saying this all the while that he's been a kingmaker. It's time for him to become president. Abagana is giving the reason why it is Tinubu's turn that um, Tinubu has been helping a lot of people. He has sacrificed so much as such. It is time that God is going to reward him for all of his sacrifices that um, he will become president. He will no longer be the Jagaban of Lagos alone, but the Jagaban of Nigeria. Not long to go now, but guys, um, let's all get our PVC and let's get involved. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.